What up, Sajan Mangala here, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your daily revolution. Today's topic, it's in your hands. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh man, what a Monday morning it has been. Got up at 3 a.m. feeling sick, coughing all night. And then I'm like, you know what? I can't sleep. I'm not going to sleep. I might as well go to the gym. So I hit the gym with the 5 a.m. crew, all the boys riding the bike, getting my Achilles. I'm, I don't have a scooter and I don't have a boot and I'm walking better. And the, the Achilles is getting better. It's still slow. And I know it's a long game, but I'll tell you what, it feels good to be in the gym this morning without the boot and just walking around getting my work at it. Well, I get home, I shower up, clean up, I come downstairs and my boys are just off. Now they're off, like they're arguing, no one's got their lunch made. It's There's all kinds of craziness going on and I'm like, what is the deal here? And then I thought back and I took a step back, I'm like, oh yeah, I created this. Saturday was, we celebrated my, my son's birthday, which was on Sunday, so we went to Disneyland. We didn't get home till. I don't know, probably like 10, 30 or 11. And I mean, it was a long day. Dudes were tired, right? We're eating. And, and it's like a side note. When we go to Disneyland, my boys get up early. They make egg sandwiches. They love egg sandwiches. And they make rice balls, right? We wrap rice and tinfoil balls. So we go. And there's a place in Disneyland. And I believe it's called the Jungle Cruise. They sell these pork skewers. Oh, man, they are so good. So if you ever go to Disneyland, pull out the app, order the pork skewer so you don't have to wait for 45 minutes in line. takes probably about five minutes. And we eat pork skewers covered in this glaze that's probably not good for you and rice. Right. And we just we had a great day at Disneyland. And then we know so we're up to probably midnight Saturday night. And then we get up for church and have Sunday. And then the, the boys were up late last night. So as I'm sitting there watching this, I think back, I'm like, what, why, what's going on? I'm like, oh yeah, the boys, my sons were up super late two nights in a row. And they just, you know, the weekend is when they get a chance to be on electronics. So they ain't trying to meditate or take a nap. They're trying to get in that electronic time. And this morning they were off. They were fighting. They were arguing. And I had to play the peacemaker this morning, right? So I'm having a great morning. I'm listening to right one of my audio books. It's a spiritual book. And I, I send some messages out, I'm, get a great workout in. I'm ready to go. And I'm now playing peacemaker. Now, here's a crazy piece. They're in the car and I'm talking to my sons, right? About being humble and being kind and not blaming. And then as soon as I say not blaming, one of them looks at the other and says, Yeah. Yeah, do you hear that? And th- and then they go back and forth and just a rough morning in the Ngali home. Well, I got some perspective on this. I know that my boys, they're kind of like daddy. If they don't sleep good, they are grumpy, grouchy. Oh, my pride and ego hop up and it's crazy. So drop my two younger ones off and it's just me and my oldest one. I can see he's got tears in his eyes. He's emotional, right? And it's because his younger brother is accusing him and it's just, you know, whatever happened this morning, which a lot happened, it's just I had to talk to my son and this was the, the meaning of our conversation. I was like, son, can you control your brother? And he says, no. Like, son, let's look at the context of this, the background. Why are we so tired this morning? He's like, oh, I don't know. I guess we went to bed late last night. I'm like, no, not last night. What time do we go to bed on Saturday night? And he's like, uh, after midnight. And he's like, yeah, after a long day at Disney. And then we got church, you know, and then we're up and we're going all day. And then you guys didn't go to bed until probably 10 last night. So we're having this great conversation. And all I say to him was, it's in your hands, son. Right? It's in your hands. He's like, yeah, but dad, you know, but so, you know, Israel does this and does this. And I said, I know he does. And whose hands is it in? He says, it's in my hands. I'm like, yeah, you can still just respond powerfully. You know, you don't have to just yell and scream. And you have to make sure that you are clear about what you want, son. So we got this great conversation. I, you know, get him off, give him a hug. And it's, I'm driving back to my home and I'm shooting this podcast as I'm driving back to my home, I recognize clearly it really is in our hands. 
But I'm teaching my sons right now how to deal and confront with things on the table, right? Out in the open, not make up stories and hold grudges and get mad. And at the end of the day, it's in our hands. Like my sons, they know, like we'll talk about this tonight at our family night. It's in their hands, right? They are in charge of their life. So let's take a look at this concept or this principle. It's in your hands across the big four, physical, spiritual, relational, financial. Physically, look, if you are not healthy, If you are overweight, if you are underweight, if your body is not the way you want it to be, if you don't feel energy and power, it's in your hands. Ain't nobody putting a gun to your head, forcing you to eat ding-dongs and Twinkies and donuts. Ding-dongs and Twinkies. I don't even know if the kids know what those are these days. right? Ain't nobody forcing you to stay in bed and not go do Pilates or yoga or go for your walk or go for a bike ride or work out at the gym. It's in your hands, right? It's your choice, your hands. Second thing, spirituality. Too many people out there think that they're just, right, there is no God or God doesn't hear their prayers or, look, it's in your hands. I 100% believe in God, 100%. And God has guided me and God has blessed me. But guess what I also know? Faith without works, is dead. So how could I possibly expect my heavenly father to bless me if I'm not willing to do my part? If I'm not willing to do the work that's required to get the the result that I desire? It's in your hands. If you're going to worship, worship. If you're going to pray, pray. If you're going to read scripture, read scripture. If you're going to follow Christ or, or whoever it is or whatever it is that you follow, do it. But don't be blaming like the, the divinity, don't be blaming deity. Take it on yourself. You're oh, like, own that. I don't blame God for my Achilles. I, 290 pounds, 280 at the time, went to go jump up a warped wall and I snapped my Achilles. That, that's on me. That's not on God. That's on me. And my recovery, it's on me. And yes, I pray to God for help. And yes, I'm asking him to guide me and to strengthen me and to enhance my abilities and to soften my heart and to give me insight and revelation. But I still got to do the work in my marriage with my children. It's on me, right? If I want to have the most amazing, epic marriage, I got to go do the work. I, Satema, got to be humble. Got to be. Satema gets to be humble. Drop the ego. Listen to my wife. Give my wife what she wants. Give my sons what they want. And when I say give them what they want, it's not just like give them free electronics and, and sugar. No. Give them the opportunities so that they can learn and grow. Listen to them. right? Be on point and be in tune so I can recognize when my sons are going through something difficult. And I've got to be listening. right? As a parent, you got to be listening. You really got to be listening. And of course, in the business world, right? this one's simple. Right? It's in your hands. It's in your hands. Right, you got to be in action, and once you're in action, once you get used to, you you develop that that habit of I take action. We got to make sure we're doing the necessary required actions. Are you doing the right actions? Are you doing what's required, or are you just doing surface confusion things? You know, hide behind activities, sawing sawdust, just being busy without really getting results. Like results matter. Principle eleven: results matter. And it's in your hands. I know what I want with my wife. I know what I want with my sons. I know what I want with my business. And it's in my hands. I gotta go, I gotta go be right, the change agent. I've got to be the guy that's gonna make sure the strategy is correct and then execute on the strategy. And then as I measure the results, I've got to ad- adjust and adapt and course correct. And then keep going. And that's it. Look, this is in your hands, my friends. If you're listening to this podcast, It is in your hands. It is nobody else's fault. It is on you. It is in your hands. It is in your hands. So what will you do about it? If the podcast is helping you, if any of my my messages resonate, and I invite you to go leave me a review on iTunes, that would mean the world to me. Leave a review on iTunes, leave a review on YouTube, share it on to someone, and let me. Whatever you want, it's in your hands. I'm out.
For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.